Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi guys, this is me, Miss Aisha Manzoor, and you are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So here in this lecture, you people will be able to learn how to draw the energy profile diagrams. So by the end of this lecture, you should be able to represent energy changes by energy profile diagrams, including reaction, enthalpy changes, and activation energies. So in this lecture, you people will be able to draw the energy profile diagram for both endothermic and exothermic reactions. So what basically energy profile diagram is? Actually, energy profile diagram shows how the energy changes over time as a reaction proceeds. So this is the way through which we can learn how energy changes over time as a reaction proceeds. So, if we are going to talk about the energy profile diagram, so this is the way through which you people will draw the energy profile diagram. But now, which thing I would like to discuss here about this energy profile diagram is about the reactants. How basically a reactant start the reaction? All the reactants need the minimum amount of energy required to start the reaction, which is called as the activation energy. This abbreviation for this activation energy is Ea. So this is the minimum energy which is required to start the reaction. What does it mean to start the reaction? If we will talk about some of the reactants, for example, we are going to talk about the reactant particles of hydrogen. If this hydrogen atom is involved in reaction, then this hydrogen will gain heat. That minimum heat which is required to break this bond is called as the activation energy. So when bonds will break, energy will be absorbed. That heat energy will be absorbed. So whenever we are going to talk about the breaking bonds, it means that this is the endothermic rea reaction and it is going to uh, endothermic process and this is going to absorb heat. So break, it will break the bond. So activation energy is the minimum energy required to start the reaction. First at this place all the bonds will be broken down. Here this is the place where all the bonds will be broken down. So if we will say that uh, bonds will be broken down here. Bonds will be broken down. Okay. After the breaking of bonds here, new bonds will be formed. New bonds will form. When we are going to talk about the new bonds, when new bonds are formed, then bonds formation is basically exothermic process where heat energy is being released. So bonds formation is the, a new bond will form and then in that case energy will be released energy released. So now if we are going to talk about the uh, release in energy, then we will show the curve of the diagram downward. This is the way. But if we are energy will absorb, then the curve will start moving up. This is the way through which we will draw the diagram. So when it will absorb heat, absorb heat having a sign plus. And when it is going to lose heat, that will having a sign minus. But what overall change will take place in this reaction will tell us the enthalpy change of uh, reaction of heat or heat of energy. If we are going to talk about the heat of energy, this is the place where we are going to talk about the delta H, the change in enthalpy or heat change in heat energy. So if the reactants have more energy, then products, then we will say this is the energy profile diagram for the endothermic reactions. So when the reactants have more energy than the products. So the arrows are more important in drawing in the CAI exams. So you have to draw the arrow for the activation energy for endothermic reactions upward and for the same for the endothermic reactions of uh, uh, enthalpy change, we will use this upward direction. So here you can able to describe the activation energy, the minimum amount of energy required to start the reaction and here we are going to talk about the more energy is absorbed than release. So if more energy is absorbed than release then the reaction is endothermic reaction. So this is the way through which we will draw the energy profile diagram for the 
endothermic reaction. Now we will move towards the energy profile diagram for the exothermic reaction. So if we will draw the energy profile diagram for the exothermic reaction. Okay. Here, the first thing which you will see that reactants have less energy than the products. If we will talk about the if reactants have less energy than the products, then in that case, we will say that the reaction is exothermic reaction. The energy which is less than the products, if reactants have less energy than the products, then the reaction is exothermic. So what happens? Always activation energy is there to start the reaction. This is that energy which is required to start the reaction. So we will you can show it this arrow here as well. This is called as EA is the abbreviation for the activation energy. For this delta H, if I will talk about the change in enthalpy of or heat of energy, then this is called as the delta H. So the change in heat, what basically change in heat means if uh, more energy is released than absorbed, then we will say, then we will say that this is the uh, reaction that is called as the exothermic reaction. For exothermic reaction, delta H is always negative. And for endothermic reaction, if we will talk about the endothermic reactions, for endothermic reactions, enthalpy change or heat of reaction is always plus. For endothermic reactions, the enthalpy change is the uh, plus delta H and if we are going to talk about the enthalpy change for the uh, exothermic reaction then it will be the then we will talk about this is the negative delta H exothermic reaction it will be called as the represent as minus delta H why will we say minus delta H because it is going to lose its electron uh, its energy to the surroundings so more energy is released than absorbed in, in endothermic, less energy is uh, released than absorbed. So this is the way through which we can learn and memorize the terms. So wha what you have to learn in this energy profile diagram, how to draw the energy profile diagram, what is the how to label the activation energy and how to draw the activation uh, delta H or enthalpy change or heat of reaction. Same similar word for the delta H. This is the overall change in the reaction. If it is going to have, uh, going to lose the uh, heat to the surrounding, or it is going to absorb the heat to the surrounding. Don't forget to uh, look at the direction of arrows, which you have to check where you have to, uh, where should be the uh, arrowhead of the arrows. So this is the way through which you have to draw the exothermic energy profile diagram for the exothermic reactions. Now here are some of the questions which we have to discuss how um, examiner is going to ask the questions regarding this. So now we are going to solve some of the questions regarding CAE exams. So now this is a question from the paper 2016 and uh, the variant is 2-2. Question is taken from the winter. So this is a question, propane nitrile is made by passing a mixture of propane, ammonia and oxygen over a catalyst at 450 degrees centigrade. So the reaction is exothermic, draw an energy profile diagram for this reaction on the axis shown. On your diagram, label the reactants and products, the enthalpy change for the reaction, the, the activation energy. So first of all, we have to look what we are going to do. We are going to learn about the exothermic reactions. So, so in the exothermic reactions, or the first thing which all we have to know about the about the position of reactants and position of products but if we are going to talk about the position of reactants is above than the position of products so this here are the reactants not very neatly drawn but the reactants are here right and the position of products are the here now uh, the marks will be distributed like one mark for the reactants and products if you are going to draw the correct 
correct position of reactants and products then you will score one mark for this and the, then the enthalpy change for the reaction and activation energy now i am going to draw the activation energy and enthalpy change for the reaction always remember from the reactant side activation energy starts this is our activation energy so you have to label this diagram as well to get the uh, full marks of this question activation energy so abbreviation for activation energy is ea right so the next what we have to show the enthalpy change for the reaction so enthalpy change for the reaction is this the arrow will be downward it is the enthalpy change for the reaction so this is the way through which you have to attempt this question what basically students uh, do common mistake what kind of mistakes they have done in the exam let me tell you so this is the way through which you people have to do the common error what students are doing they are drawing the arrowhead here this is the way wrong they will draw the arrow here this is the wrong the wrong sides for the activation energy and wrong side for the enthalpy change you cannot score mark for this for double sided arrow or if you are going to draw the direction of arrow oppositely you couldn't score full marks for this uh, for this equation for this question so this is the way through which you people have to attempt the question so i would like to discuss another question from the paper 2017 that is so here is another question which is uh, regarding the energy profile diagram from the year 2017 variant 2 2 october november session so here in this question uh, how to draw the um, energy profile diagram so question is an incomplete energy profile diagram for the oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide is shown so reactants is going to be converted into products. So how to draw the energy profile diagram? So structure for the energy profile diagram will be like this. So what we have to do? We have to draw a label the pathway for the uncatalyzed reaction. So if we have to draw the uh, pathway for the catalyzed reaction, so then it will be like this. The uh, It will use less activation energy. So the requirement for the uncatalyzed reaction, we will write this is the uncatalyzed reaction, right? This one is the uncatalyzed reaction. Uncatalyzed reaction. Where the... Uh, energy activation energy is lowers down then that we can say that this is our catalyzed reaction this one is the catalyzed reaction catalyzed reaction so hey, this is a way through which you have to solve the questions regarding the energy profile diagram. Now the next question is this. Is the reaction is exothermic or endothermic? Explain your answer. Yes, as this one is the exothermic reaction. Why? Because the products have less energy than the reactants. So this is the way through which you can describe after having a look on the energy profile diagram that why this reaction is exothermic because products have less energy than the reactants. Products have less energy than the reactants. So this is the way through which we have to attempt the paper. Uh, questions in the paper so i hope so that you people have learned it very well so consistency is the key of success so don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel if you have learned even a single word don't forget to subscribe my channel so signing off miss aisha manzoor